Isabel B has passed the halfway point of her weight loss mission. The X Factor judge has lost eight kilos in two months as a Jenny Craig ambassador. I'm halfway. I feel lighter. Like when I walk now, it's not so bombarda bombarda. It's more doink, 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 doink. Losing weight does not. Mel B's goal is to lose 15 kilos all up. She made the commitment after giving birth to her daughter Madison last year. She joins us now from LA. Good morning to you. Oh. Well, you're glowing. Oh. Looks How are you guys? Oh my god, I miss Sydney so much. I cannot wait to get back there. Oh, we miss you too. Look, what's been the hardest part of your weight loss regime so far? You know what? Giving birth was probably the hardest part. <laughs> and then from then on, you know, I waited six weeks before I actually got on the Jenny program. And getting on the Jenny program was a godsend because everything is done for you. You get your support, you get your portion control, everything's there. So all you have to do is wake up and just function. <laughs> you also, um, you're amazingly fit and active. Do you, are you one of those women that loves going to the gym and working out? No, can I tell you, I used to be fit and active and now it's, you know, I'm 36 years old, I've got three kids. It is an effort these days to be fit and motivated. You know, getting yourself to the gym I think is the hardest part. But if you're going to make an effort and eat properly and healthy, then, you know, working out, you just kind of have to do that. Yeah. Whether it's taking a walk with your kids or playing the Wii game or going to a fitness first gym, I mean, you have to make that part of your lifestyle. And I'm over halfway and I am so excited. So I'm nearly there. I'm nearly at my goal weight. And so, boy, just you wait and uh, see when I get there. So, so you're in the home stretch. What do you have to do? To, to, to make it? Do you have to change it all or just be consistent with what you've been doing? I mean, it's like with any food regime, you have to be consistent. But one good thing about the Jenny program is, is they actually give you all the tools so you can do it yourself. So now I'm actually creating my own meals as well as doing one or two days per week that is just the Jenny program. I now can actually make my own food. Well, I say make my own food, I mean like make a salad. And then I have my husband cook the meat and the fish. <laughs> <laughs> nice, smart woman. Hey, you mentioned earlier that you're really yeah. missing um, Australia. We know that you're selling your home in LA. Does that mean you might be oh, moving shush. over here? You're not supposed to. Nobody's supposed to be knowing that right now. I mean, we kind of have put our house out just on the market, not for sale necessarily, but we've had quite a lot of interest. I mean, we do have a beautiful home. Yeah. We really do here in LA. Why do but, you want I mean, to sell it? Who knows? Huh? Why do you, you want to sell it? Is my bedroom? Yeah. That's my private love-making bedroom area. <laughs> Isn't Sorry. that part of the Jenny Craig program? <laughs> Actually, it's exercise is very important, I'll have you know. On top, ladies, always. Anyway. Always. Uh, Work those thighs out. Do you see yourself buying a house in Australia? <laughs> you know what? I love Australia that much. I mean, who knows? I don't want to reveal all my information just yet. Uh, for a start, I want to actually get myself back over to Sydney. So let's see what brings me back okay. there. Well, uh, mm -hmm. could a spy, Spice Girls reunion tour bring you back here or to the London Olympics? Well, we do have, we do have our Spice Girls musical coming out this year, right. which has been written and directed by Judy Kramer, who did Mamma Mia! the musical and Mamma Mia! the movie. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we'll be doing some stuff together. Fingers crossed. I'm always down for a Spice Girls reunion. Uh, t for me to get my scary hair on and my big platforms, any time of day, I'd, I'd, you know, yeah, I'm a Spice Girl through and through. So one last quick always question, though. Is anyone holding out? Because the rumour is it could be London Olympics we see you all at. Well, we do have the Queen's um, Diamond Jubilee coming up. Oh, did I really say that? Ooh. Oh, precursor. Oh, there you go. All right. Heard it here. <laughs> you heard that here? We've been inside Mel B's bedroom. We've been everywhere. And they said, <laughs> oh, my God. So no, trial. you have not. You've seen it. <laughs> well, that's not the story he's going to relay, so don't worry about the details. Mel, good to catch up with you. All the best. We'll see, see you soon. soon. Thank you.